In this video, I wanna show you how you can easily understand your data distribution using scatter charts in Power BI. I'm gonna show you how you can adjust and customize your scatter charts, how you can use automatic clusterings to group your data. And I also wanna show you how you can add wow factor to your scatter charts by implementing the play axis. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So to demonstrate how the scatter charts work, let me show you through this demo that I prepared. It's a very simple orders table, the same as what I used in my previous videos, where it has some information about the orders, different orders, um, different information like the uh, order unit price and quantity, things like what the product is, what their categories are, the customer details like the customer country and company, also order, order date and order ID. And we also created some uh, basic tables here for our data set. So we have a calendar table which we use for our time intelligence analysis and we have a, a relationship between the calendar table dates and the order date um, column in our orders table. We also have a calculations measure table that houses all of our measures for this. At the moment we only have just the one which is the total sales and all it does is it calculates the total sales by doing the calculation between the quantity and the unit price. So let's say you have a scenario in which you have to show the correlation of the quantity of orders and unit price against categories and how it affects total sales. You can use these scatter charts to visualize this kind of correlation. Let me show you how you can do that really easily. So let's bring in a scatter chart here in our reports. Let's bring in our, our values here, quantity and unit price on our axes. And we also want to show the category in our details here. Let's also bring the total sales measure that we have here and let's put it on the size. So now what we have here is a bubble chart. Each dot represents a category of the products. The position on the graph maps their quantity and unit price. If I hover over any of the bubbles, you'll see the, uh, the, their values, their unit price and quantity. And the size of the bubble shows the total sales. Now, since we have a small number of categories here, we can actually move the category name into the legend instead that creates a color coding between the different categories as legend. So you can legibly see uh, where each one belongs to where. So what does this distribution tell us? Well, it tells us that the majority of the categories that sold didn't have a high unit price, but sold a lot in terms of quantity. So you see most of them are at the bottom, even though they have small circles compared to the last two on the top right there, the majority of them are below the 8,000 pounds unit price. So one optional thing that you can add to your scatter chart is to add the play axis, which shows how the data transforms over time. Uh, typically it shows a passage of time. So for now, let's try to add the year and see how that changes. So now you'll see that you have a slider at the bottom with the different years. And if I hit play, you'll see how the data changes over time, year by year. And one other cool thing that it actually shows you is if you click on any of the bubbles, it will give you the history of how it moved over time through the play axis, which is really cool. So now let's imagine that you were given another requirement. Let's say you were given the requirement to analyze the orders, not by categories, but individual orders and find out the distribution of them against unit price and quantity. How would you do that through the scatter chart? Let's uh, go back to our original view. So let's remove the total sales and the play axis here. And let's add the order ID in the details. So now, as you can see, we can put it in the legend the same way that we did with the categories. 
because there are way too many data points here to um, put on the legend. Uh, so instead we want to analyze the distribution of this data. Now from this view you can roughly see the distribution of your data being more on the bottom left side but you want to be able to analyze the different clusters of this data. How would you do that? Now another cool thing that the scatter chart allows you to do is to create automatic clusterings which is essentially just grouping your data. So what you can do is you can click the ellipsis arrow here, select automatic data clustering, and we will cluster the order ID. And let's say three for now. So we want to group our clusters into three different uh, groups. If you hit OK, You'll see that it creates us a new field in our orders table called the order ID clusters. And now you'll see that you have three different colors uh, showing us clusters in your legend. So what's cool about this clustering is that the scatter chart did is that because these clusters are fields, we can actually add a, uh, we can use this as a filter. So let's add the clusters as a separate filter here. So this allows you to analyze your clusters individually if you needed to. So if you uh, look at cluster one, uh, different clusters, cluster three, and you can use it in combination of other visuals that is available for you in Power BI. So from this report view, let's add the category, product categories and the total sales. And let's put it in a pie chart just to show how the clusterings really shine when it comes to using the cross filtering. So now you'll see that it gives us the um, uh, which categories contribute the most towards total sales, which at the moment is the beverages. And this allows you to analyze your clusters individually uh, using a combination with the other visuals available for you in Power BI Desktop. And that's really it for this video. I hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start using scatter charts in Power BI. Leave a like in this video if it helped you. It's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content. Get in touch using the social media links that are included in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you again on the next one.